Hey guys, it's Caitlin here. Um, just thought I would upload a video about my Sturge Weber journey. Um, just before I get started though, I just want to apologise. I know I say at the start of the video, I'm sorry I've not uploaded um, in the last few months. Um, I've been struggling with my um, my mental health. Um, not gonna go into details, but um, that's why I've not really been uploading. Um, I've just been focused on getting myself better, um, and also college um, has been really busy with. At the moment, we've got units during time, like once one unit's finished, we're starting another one straight away. Um, due dates are constant at the moment, just trying to keep up with them. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So yeah, it's just trying to keep up with it all and trying to find time to film videos at the moment is really difficult for me. Um, as you all are aware, um, I am a full-time college student. I do two days at a nursery. I'm a brownie leader, so I, I do that on one evening a week, and the other evenings it's just trying to keep up with coursework, and um, just trying, you know, get things done and time and handed in, and um, yeah. So that's the reason for not uploading, and I am sincerely sorry. Um, so. Getting on with the video, um, I have wanted to do this video for a while. Um, truth is, I've been too scared to do it because, um, obviously, as a young child, I don't really remember much. Um, but I wanted to get it out there because. Sturge Weber isn't very, is, isn't well known, it's quite rare, um, I think it's one in 10,000 babies are born with it a year, maybe even more, um, so yeah, um, so my journey with Sturge Weber started when I was born on the 17th of February 2001, when my mum discovered I'm not discovering, noticed I had a birthmark. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's gone, it's faded quite a lot. Um, I have laser treatment done. Apologies as well if you can hear my brother. He's being very loud. I can't be able to shout again. Um, so, yeah. So, it's more darker on my nose here. Um, I have actually got a little bit on my eyelid. Um, yeah. So, it started off there. And then... Um, they did an MRI scan, I think, at three months, um, which is when they discovered I had it. But also at three months, I had my first seizure due to epilepsy. Um, and so obviously from then, that's when the seizures were more common. Um and they would last i don't know without asking my mum how exactly long they were um and then yeah so that was pretty much the first year of my life just in and out of hospital because of seizures and appointments meeting consultants for the first time all that <clears throat> sorry guys um <clears throat> and then uh, 18 months I not 18 months sorry 16 months I had um, brain surgery to remove the epilepsy from my head brain the infected part of my brain um, which was a success um, some of the things they predicted would happen have happened um, I'm visually impaired, I'm, I can't use 
my right side. Um, but some of the things they said I wouldn't be able to do, which I can do, they said I wouldn't be able to walk, um, which I can do, easily get around, walk everywhere, um, and also talk. And obviously, if I couldn't talk, I wouldn't be doing these videos. Um, so I've proven a point there. Um, can I also just say that I'm not doing this video to get sympathy or to get people to feel sorry for me. I'm doing it because this is what people need to know. Sturge Weber is not something to be scared of. You know, Sturge Weber is what I have to grow up with for the rest of my life. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. I'm not getting people to try and feel sorry for me. Um, so, moving on, it come to my second birthday, don't really remember much in my second years, and my third and fourth and fifth years, um, a lot of it I think was just constant, um, hospital appointments, um, and, um, just really trying to figure out how to help me in certain ways um so yeah um that's the main reason i don't really remember much um and then from what i can remember from the age of six we went on a big family holiday nothing exciting well obviously as a six-year-old you know you go on a plane you're all Sorry, you're all excited, you're all... Um, but with my Sturge Weber and my learning difficulties that I have got, there were a few struggles. Um, the brain surgery didn't affect me in that way. Um, but the whole thing of Sturge Weber... Um, it can affect diff there's three different types of sturge vapor now um i don't exactly know what type i've got um but sturge vapor has has its poisons and it con and its cons um obviously at the age of 6 i was in school i was in a mainstream school which is what i want what i think my mum wanted um I had full on one to one TA support throughout. Um, obviously moved up, went into a primary school from reception, that was all mainstream. And then moving on to secondary, I was in secondary for year seven to year 11, sat GCSEs, which I was told I possibly wouldn't get graded on, which I did. <clears throat> And um, now I'm still battling off on the Sturge Rabery always. I'm always going to be. I'm now in my third year of college doing my dream childcare level two crush course. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so throughout the whole of my education, um, you know, I've had my struggles. Um, Obviously, explaining things to people that don't understand what's happened. Um, you know, the one thing, if anyone, like my heroes, Sophie, um, my little hero Angelina and Erin. One thing I want to say, Sophie, you already know this, but Erin and Angelina, the one thing I need you guys to know is, you know listen to my advice you know yes classes are gonna be difficult yes you're gonna struggle making friendships me and sophie both know that from experience but friendships you only need one good friend and i have found my soulmate in college and her name's sally and you know what who gives two toots what people think and do you know what? I'm going to say this now. People that bully... I've been bullied loads in the past. Um, you know, I've had the mick taken out of my disabilities. 
um, people saying about how because of my condition, I'm you know I'm stupid. I'm not worth living. Don't take any of that nonsense. You know, my journey with Sturge Raber so far has had its ups and downs. You're always gonna get that. Um, but moving on into adulthood, I'm gonna look on to positive. Um, things for the future you know finding a paid job hopefully one day having a family of my own hopefully maybe not to my early 30s have children if I find the right guy um, but my journey with Sturge Raber is honestly if I could change the way I was or am I wouldn't I think in some ways my Sturge Raber has made me stronger and there are a few people that know the ins and outs of the struggle so it's obviously the whole of the Sturge Raber family, um, new parents who might have a child that's being diagnosed, just want you to know that living with Sturge Raber can be difficult. Um, but just want you to know that if you need anything, it's all going well. Um, we have a Facebook page and it's Sturge Weber UK. I am, oh, sorry. I'm going to just confirm it. Um, Yeah, so it's Sturge Weber UK, um, and it's got our charity bear on it. Um, so on here you can find details um, and um, You know, just anything, it's all fine. You know, we've got um, charity pages. Um, we've got a website. So, yeah, just don't be afraid to um, do that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.